Hello and good day, how have you been? You are highly welcome for today's tutorial. Yes, we want to treat the economic order quantity and I won't be doing any solving, okay? I just want to give you or tell you the things you need to know under the economic order for economic order quantity, EOQ. So, in this video, you are going to learn how to derive the formula and you're also going to learn how to apply them in solving questions. Then in the next video, I'm going to solve an example to help you out. Meanwhile, there are different ways or different methods of solving questions under the EOQ. And what I'm about to do now is the general knowledge of EOQ. So whatever kind of question you see, you will be able to solve that question. Just try as much as you can to understand the question very well, to be able to interpret the question and you make use of the formula where necessary. So, the first two things I will tell you here is the formula for EOQ and how to derive the formula. And you must know it, alright? First of all, let me bring this to your notice. Okay, we have the EOQ, right? We have the formula for EOQ. We say Q is equal to the square root of 2DCO over H, alright? Take note of this. This is the formula generally for EOQ, okay? It is very, very important. Now, the second thing I also like you to remember is this. We say D times CO is divided by Q is equal to Q times H over 2. Take note of this. It is very, very important, all right? So, with this formula, this is how we derive what? The AOQ. Ordinarily, this is the ordering cost, the total ordering cost. And this is the total holding cost. But I know you still get confused now telling you about ordering and holding cost. So let's take it step by step, one after the other. Now, if in the exam you are being asked to derive the AOQ, you follow the step. Now, let us go. It goes this way. We have the same value. D times CO over Q, which is equal to Q times H over 2. All right? The next thing we do here is to cross multiply. We say we'll cross multiply. We'll cross multiply. Now when we we'll cross multiply, what do we have? Q comes over, right? So we we'll have what? Q square. Okay? Q square times H. Q square times H is equal to this goes over to this place, right? We we'll have 2D times CO. Okay? Now, the next thing we do here, we need the Q to stand on its own, but we're going to divide through with H so that we can eliminate this H. So, we we'll divide both sides, divide both sides by H. Okay? So, what we'll do is this we we'll have Q squared times h, which is this, divided by h, it is equal to, we have this again, 2d times co divided by h. Remember, divide both sides by h. So, h cancels h. What are we left with? We have q squared, right, which is equal to 2d times co is what? 2d co over h. Okay, so the next thing we'll do now is to eliminate the square sign. And in order to do that, we are going to square both sides, okay? So the next thing we'll do is this. This is what we have here. We have what? Q square. What we have here is equal to 2DCO over H, right? So we are going to square both sides, all right? And to square both sides, this is how it goes. We square the side and we square the side. You get it? Okay. So, this square root cancels the bigger square root, okay? So, we are left with what? Q, which is equal to the square root of 2DCO over H. And this is what the EOQ. You can see it is the same thing we have here. Now, how did we derive this? We followed through this step. The first thing was to cross multiply. We divided both sides. We square both sides. And we derive at our final answer. So follow the steps. If you are asked a question in the examination to derive the EOQ, this is what you will do. But remember, the values will be given. So you work with the value being given. 
Now, there are some terminologies we need to take note of. We can say where we have Q. Q now represents what? The economic order quantity, as we have above, economic order quantity. In some questions, you might be told to look for the optimal order quantity. It is the same thing. Okay? Then, we have D. D represents what? The annual demand. Annual demand. Okay? We have CO. CO is the ordering costs. The ordering costs. Alright? Then we have H. And H here simplifies what? The holding costs. The holding cost, as you can see from the question, this is H, this is CO, this is D, and this is Q, right? So, there's one more thing not in the formula, but it's also very, very important. We have P, and P represents what? The purchase price. Purchase price. Very, very important. Now, everything we have here has a formula, and we need to know. So, this, we need to take good note of this. Now, let me give us the formulas, alright? We need to know how the formula goes, okay? So, to get the formulas, it goes this way. We have A, we have T, we have A again, we have T, we have T, and we have T. Don't worry, it is very, very easy. This, we have an annual demand. Annual demand. And the formula for the annual demand is what? We have the demand over Q. Demand, which is the annual demand divided by the EOQ, alright? Now, here we have what? The total ordering costs. Total ordering costs. And the total ordering cost is just the same thing we have here, but a little difference. Here we have what? D over Q times, remember, ordering costs. So we have times CO for the ordering costs. Now, we have what? The average costs. Average cost and average cost now has to do with what Q divided by 2. What does Q signify or represents the EOQ divided by 2? We we'll have what the total holding costs. Total holding costs. The same thing we we'll have here again, but a little difference. Here we have what Q over 2 times this is the holding cost represented with what H. Okay, now we we'll have the total costs or total inventory costs controllable we have controllable and we have uncontrollable so for controllable you remember what i told you about this it is very very important this is the formula for holding cost sorry for total cost controllable all right so total cost controllable this is the formula you repeat the same thing we have there d times co over q now, instead of making use of the equal sign, we make use of addition. So we say plus Q times H over 2. This is the formula for total cost controllable. Alright? So we have total inventory costs or total costs uncontrollable. Uncontrollable. Now, for the total cost uncontrollable, it is the same thing, but there is a little difference. Here we have PD plus, or well now repeat the same thing, D times CO over Q plus Q times H over 2. Now, what does P signify? Remember I told us that P here signifies the purchase price and D signifies what? The annual demand. So what we actually do here is what? P times D. Okay, that is what we have here. All right? PD is P times D, which is the purchase price times the demand. So, this is just an introductory video. I just want to welcome you into the world of the economic order quantity. In the next video, we are going to solve a practical question, okay? Then have it at the back of your mind. There are different ways, there are different methods, there are different styles or techniques of solving questions under the EOQ. But what you have on the board will give you a general knowledge and it will go a long way to help you. Just be calm once the lecturer is in the class, understand the concepts or the steps, apply this as well, it's still going to work out and you derive the, the same, sorry, you derive the correct answer. So, stay tuned, let's give it a shot. The next video, economic order quantity, example 
one. Do have a good day and thank you. Goodbye.